Okay. All right. I've got uh, I've got Lena here, and back up, please. And we're going to uh, talk a little bit about what you just saw. A little bit of leading with accuracy. And it was a great question that just came in. I thought, oh, this is kind of an easy one. I think, I mean, easy to explain. Essentially, this is something that I do with every single student that comes here for the first time, is we talk about how to lead. Now, the primary reason to lead the way that I lead is for safety. And I say it all the time, but I want everybody to go home in the same car that they came in. And that means that we're safe. And leading in a position something like this, or even worse, much worse, leading like this, or like this, uh, is very dangerous. And there's plenty of stories out there how people get knocked over and, and they kind of hold a horse, you know, really close to their face and they have to wrestle with them all the time and stuff. It's dangerous. It's 100% more dangerous than saying, back up, back up, keep backing, back, back, one more, back, then here. Because now I have space. I have enough space around me that when something goes sideways, I will probably be able to react. Because if you think about it, there's absolutely... We just weighed Lena yesterday and she's almost 1,500 pounds. And there's no way that I, as a human, is going to be able to hang on to her or block her if she chose to kind of come through me. So what I want is space to be able to get out of the way or at least get big to where a horse might not think about squishing me. So with that as the base of leading or being with a horse, we can talk about leading a little bit. And let's just bring you guys down a little snowy today, but I think we can do this. And back up. The other thing about a horse being right here is I can't really see what's on the other side. I also can't walk that way either. If I were to walk straight like this, now Lena will get out of my way, but plenty of horses don't. They don't care. They just stand there and you smash into them. Kind of like Luke, actually. If I had Luke here right now, I'd just smash into his neck. So I want my horses back and I'll be here so I can make a right turn, a left turn. I can stop without getting stepped on. And that's the basis of all my leading, which is why I get quite a few comments on how my horses are very yeah, you know, very good, very polite, very respectful in, in keeping their space because I'm always asking for it. So let's make this kind of quick. <laughs> Snow is really starting to come down today, but we're going to talk about leading. Now, because I'm at this distance and I have this space, um, I'm safer and now I need to maintain it. So it's really important that you have a backup, <clears throat> a backup, not backup plan, but be able to back up your horse. So if I sort of raise my hands a little and wave them a bit, that's one of the ways I can get Lena to back up. If you've got a rope, it's your best tool at hand. If you kind of wave that around, like if you had a tail of your own, and we've seen lots of horse behavior videos now, I hope. If you haven't and you're new, check them out. They're very, very interesting. But I can use this kind of as my tail to say, look, <laughs> you're in my space. And I did do a video a while back that I'll link as well, and it's about having a safety circle. So I'll have an imaginary circle around me that says, don't come in here. <laughs> this is my safe place. I'll go to you, but you don't come to me. And, uh, you know, obviously in time you can sort of break these rules, but in the beginning I think this is really beneficial. So now it comes to leading. So when I wander off, I'm going to wander off with her, I expect her to act like a trailer on a vehicle. Like if I have my truck and I hook up to a trailer, I don't expect this thing to get any closer, any farther. I don't expect it to swing out this way or that way, which brings me to another quick thing. Always make sure your horse stays on the side that your directing hand is got. Uh, and also don't hold your rope like this if you can. To trust me, you'll have more control if you hold it like this. But anyways, the horse should be on this side and she's crawled up a little bit, but uh, we won't go too hard on her right now. And uh, if the horse goes around the other side, you want to discourage that with your tail. Uh, you don't have to whack them or nothing, but you can just shake it around. They'll get the idea. And if they do go around, 
and they kind of take off that way, they'll spin you around and you'll end up spinning around. Um, otherwise you get wrapped up in the rope. So we want them to stay on the side that our directing hand is on. This is our driving hand. This is our directing hand. But that's more for groundwork. We're only gonna talk about leading today. So I'm gonna wander off. You guys are gonna just watch on a wide lens. I ask her to come, she's late. Come on, Lena. There we go. Okay, so she's leading at a nice distance. I'm happy with this so far. I can even collect up my rope and make it quiet. Because remember, everything that we do with a horse can be precise. That's not bad, you're a little lazy, but you can do better. Anyhow, so we kind of come along, and now I want to make a right-hand turn, a hard one. And you see she's already kind of moving out of my space, but not moving forward into my space. Then off we go a little bit more, and I keep this space, and I can still, here we'll go for a right here, we'll stop. Now, if she had chosen to come forward one or two steps, I would just back her up, say thank you, and a thank you is just a light touch and a feeling, a feeling of thanks. So my right hand turns are good, right? If she does get in my way, I can just back her up as I come through with my tail. Or if you get an audio cue figured out, you can use that and that'd be fantastic. And my left hand turns are good, obviously. She'll just follow along quite nicely. And my rope doesn't go tight and I'm not freaking out and I'm quite calm. I'm not leading like this. <laughs> This is common, you see it. I do it sometimes here and there, I get worried. But when I find myself walking like I would never walk in my life, nobody walks down the street with their arm out pointed at their whatever person that's with them or, you know, but we do it with horses as if we're going to ward them off. If I feel that way, I will slow down. Slow down, Lena. And I will go really, really slow. Really slow. And if your horse doesn't listen to this, you've got a problem. <laughs> what we don't want to do is have them rush us. You know, really slow. And slow is easier. Slow is always going to be easier compared to if we pick up a trot. If I start going, Lena should again come with me. And I don't mind a little bit of space. And I'll keep a hold of my lead rope. So she doesn't step on it. I know where that is. And you'll notice I'm not looking at her. I know where she is. That's from there. We'll stop. Nope. So she keeps going. I back her up. I say thank you. And then I might reset. But we always want to go slower. <laughs> and test that out. And that will be really beneficial for both you and your horse, so you have that communication. And then when you get kind of good at it, I might not demonstrate it now because I think we're done here. You know, I wouldn't even need a halter on. I could just kind of move around and she would come with me. And she probably won't do it now. I don't expect, I'm not asking. But she's still interested in me and that's nice. And that's leading. That's the basics of leading a horse around so that they don't step on you. They don't squish you. They don't run you over, they don't try to bite, they don't, you know, it's not a, it's not a wrestling match. And it's also not a guarding thing. You really want to, want to be pretty cool about it. So my recommendation, my steps are, my conclusion on this really is, you know, make sure you've got space. Make sure you protect your safety circle. In no uncertain terms too, especially in the beginning. I get a new horse in, my safety circle is out there. But I make a big effort to always come over and just say thanks and then I'll step over here and I'll say wait there until you break the rules and you get a horse like Luke who's my baby in a way <laughs> and he uh, just crawls all over me anyways no matter what so whatever and uh, yeah keep yourself safe keep distance slow down always slower and uh, I guarantee you get better at it so there's my, there's my tips on that. Maybe we'll finish off with a little bit more of that lovely drone footage of us running around, getting some exercise today. And I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>